Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to a new MLB update video, our last update video before MLB The Show 21 comes out, so I'm going to post a bunch of videos on that, hopefully get some new entertaining content out there. We're going to post some franchise rebuilds, probably do some Road to the Shows and some Diamond Dynasties. If I can make it entertaining, I will post it, so get ready for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see that, but getting into our news today, Rondon, Carlos Rondon of the Chicago White Sox threw a no-hitter. Good for him because he's dealt with a lot of injuries over his career, and he was actually non-tendered by the White Sox during the offseason, so it's good to see him come back. Uh, hopefully, be a be a big part of the White Sox organization moving forward, especially in their playoff run this year, or maybe he gets traded because he is only on a one-year deal, and if he does pitch pretty well, the White Sox may be able to ship him somewhere for a good price, uh, maybe get something back in return if they're missing anything. Going to our next story, the Toronto Blue Jays have suffered more injuries. Julian Merriweather, who was basically their closer since Kirby Yates left with injury, he has been injured with a oblique strain, the same injury that George Springer is out with. I think he recovered from it, but now he's dealing with a quad injury. We'll talk about that later. But Merriweather is injured for at least one to two more weeks. Ross Stripling, who was supposed to start for them yesterday, had some forearm tightness or soreness. He is out for a couple days. Teoscar Hernandez is not going to be on the team for at least eight more days. Uh, they suffered some other injuries as well. Like I said, George Springer is going to be done for at least a week or two more weeks he, he is expected to come back by the 27th of april so when they move go back to dunedin after facing the rays i believe and they've had some other injuries here and there so if i'm the jays i would sign a reliever like shane green who is a pretty good reliever still in the market because their bullpen is pretty depleted right now and their closers just haven't been able to seem uh to stay healthy sorry um so i would definitely pick up someone like green or robertson who's still on the market because merriweather could be out for a while we saw spring was out for a while with the same injury and yates is done for the year nate pearson is expected to be back in a week or two and thomas hatch has the same timeline so it looks like the blue jays are going to be getting a lot of their players back at the same time so that could push them to a big win streak uh speaking about big win streaks the boston red sox are on a tear right now verdugo and devers have been leading the charge they have been going crazy uh some other red sox players have been playing really well as well um and this is without chris sale as well so the red sox are one of those teams that a lot of people maybe didn't think we're gonna do too well again it is the start of the season but the red sox might be one of those teams that are in the wild card hunt maybe they're aggressive at the deadline and they pick up a piece that can push them into the wild card and they can make the playoffs but I think the Red Sox are doing really well right now they're on a big win streak I think like eight or nine games so good for them just to recap we have the Red Sox on a tear the Blue Jays suffering a lot of more injuries very unfortunate for them but once everyone comes back I think the Blue Jays are going to be in a good spot also right for right now Guerrero and Bichette have been carrying their offense like the Red Sox the Blue Jays haven't been on as big of a tear but Guer uh, Guerrero, not Guerrero, Guerrero and Bichette have been carrying the team. Uh, they've both been hitting a lot. And then Rondon has the no-hitter. Not a lot of news to talk about, but just a quick update before MLB The Show 21 comes out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be ready for the MLB The Show 21 content. See you guys in the next one.